You've also been involved in a little Twitter drama with a few people, uh, Terra La Rosa, and you have gone back and forth. What's been going on with that? Well, you know, we kind of just uh, squashed the beef a little bit for now. You know, we still have a little bit of, you know, personal dislike for each other, but, um, you know, I want to make it clear the reason that I want to fight her is because she's number one in the world in her weight division, you know, and you can't take away her accomplishments. So, um, you know, I definitely am willing to drop to, the, to that weight class if given the opportunity and fight her at her weight. Tanya Evinger had a few choice words for you as well. Did you get a chance to hear what she had to say? Yeah, she's always had it out for me, and I don't really know what her beef is, you know. Um, I try to be the bigger person, but I guess there's a lot of haterade going around right now, so <laughs> I'm done sipping on that. But, um, man, I know she, she turned down a, a fight with me in Strike Force, so last. So I don't know what her deal is. So. Does it upset you? Because you seem like a sweet girl to me. Does it upset you that all these girls are, are kind of making you look like you're a little bit of a, I don't know, I don't want to say a troublemaker, but that you're being involved in all this drama? I mean, it, would you rather just fight and, and not worry about all that? Yeah, I would. You know, I think for the most part, my whole career, I've stayed out of it and I've let people just talk, but I just kind of got fed up uh, probably, what was it, just a couple weeks ago, and I kind of had to, like, spill the beans, I'm like, look, this is what's up. I'm tired of everybody talking crap. i got to defend myself and at least say what I want to say. So I had my piece. Um, you know, I'm done with that. Now, if anyone has anything to say, they can answer to me in the cage.